Hi, I'm Amanda Featherstone and this is my thought on Thursday. I'm going to start today with a question. What is your favourite flavour of crisps? Hmm? Okay, well I wonder how many people out there would answer that question with ready salted. Now I personally can't understand it when someone's favourite crisp is ready salted because for me, well that's what you have if it's the only packet left. But anyway, maybe ready salted is your favourite. Well I wonder if you've ever had or remember from the past that these crisps, they're called salt and shake. They're ready salted crisps and when you go into the packet, you have to search around, but you find this little blue sachet. You then rip it open, excuse me using my teeth, and then you add in the salt. Take the bag up and try them. You put your own salt on the ready salted crisps. Well, there's a verse in the Bible that says, may your conversations be seasoned with salt. Salt's an important thing because it brings taste, it brings out the taste of other things and it also preserves. Let your conversation be seasoned with salt. Let the things we say be tasty and good. As we move into a new period where lockdown is eased even more, we're going to find ourselves in more interactions with people, whether it be in shops, out and about, or even going on holiday if that's possible for people. We will be interacting with more people, which means we'll be having conversations. And uh, I heard a phrase once that said, if someone can feel better, after you've spoken to them, you've done a good thing. If the outcome of your interaction with someone is that they're encouraged or feel better, what a good thing that would be. And that's what the Bible's saying. Let your conversations be full of grace and seasoned with salt. Mm. So let me try those. Mm. They're good, but they need more salt. I'm going to ask God to give me more salt in my conversations that I might speak well and I might encourage other people. How about you? And enjoy your crisps and snacks too. I'm Amanda Featherstone, Vicar of St Mary's Withal, and this has been my thought on Thursday. Have a good week.